Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. I am your host Tom Downey, back with a look at the latest Cowboys rumors. We'll start things off with the panic that came from the Pro Bowl. And should you guys not panic about the Cow the NFC's effort, I should say, in the Pro Bowl and what it means for the coaching staff? Four stars on this one. Y'all got to take a chill pill and take some advice from Aaron Rodgers and just relax. I know, the NFC offense struggled in the Pro Bowl, but it's the freaking Pro Bowl, guys. It literally doesn't matter. I know it's bad optics that Garrett and Moore in the offense couldn't move the football, and it feeds into the narrative about the Cowboys offense and the jokes and all that will fade. That'll all go away in a little bit. But can I emphasize again, this is the Pro Bowl? It's not like the Cowboys are installing their offense. They're going with simple plays. They're not caring. You guys really should not put any emphasis whatsoever in a game that features running backs playing defensive end and the AFC punter saying, nah, I'm not going to go punt. I'm cold right now. Don't put any emphasis on the Pro Bowl results from this game. It literally does not matter. I know it doesn't make anyone feel confident about it, but on a scale of 1 to 10 about making about the coaching staff for me being worried about it after the Pro Bowl, it's actually a 0 for me. It doesn't mean anything. There's no impact coming out of it. There is nothing to be concerned about. It's the Pro Bowl. It does not matter. And by the way, if you're the play calling the Cowboys and you're going to install this kind of more DAC from the offense, why would you do any of it at the Pro Bowl when the teams you're trying to beat are looking at the, at the playbook too? Don't put any emphasis whatsoever on what we saw in the Pro Bowl. It just doesn't matter. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sportsbook. You could have bet on the under and covered it very easily in this one, or at least for, for the Pro Bowl. And you can bet on the Super Bowl with plenty of prop bets as well. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS120 for a 120% deposit bonus. But wait, if you want more money, use Bitcoin. And that promo code bonus ends up being 150%. So, look, we know not everyone is super familiar with Bitcoin. DM us on Twitter, at ChatSports. Hope you guys out. Hope you guys get that extra bonus money for using Bitcoin. It's an extra 30 bucks if, if you put down 100 as long as you use that promo code at Cowboys120 at ChatSports.com slash bet. More Cowboys rumors. How about a Byron Jones extension? I'll give this one three stars. Jones said all the right things lately about an extension, saying oh, there's no question he wants to be a Cowboy for life because, well, I mean, who wouldn't want to be, right? Well, I guess the Bennett guys, potentially. Martell is Bennett. Anyway, the Cowboys have publicly said that they want to re-sign Byron Jones, a far cry from where we were around this time last year when the Cowboys weren't necessarily willing to pick up the fifth-year option. They did. That's why he's under contract for this coming season, 2019. And yes, there was a bit of regression late in the year for Byron Jones, but he played well. And look at what he did against the top receivers in the NFL that he faced this year. Odell Beckham just had one target. Hopkins and Mike Evans, those guys did play well. Four receptions apiece, about 72, 73 yards, respectively. So, not the end of the world. They shut down Julio Jones. They shut down Michael Thomas. The big thing here that I take away, opposing teams aren't even targeting Byron Jones that much. You want to know if a, if a team has a good corner? Pay attention to how many targets they get thrown their way. If they're, if teams aren't targeting a particular cornerback, that means they fear him, and also the receivers aren't getting open. So how much is Byron Jones worth per year? Let me know in the comments section, then DM me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny, and I'll keep you guys updated with uh, what I would give Byron Jones, factoring in the inflation for the salary cap, of course. Next up, some more free agency talk. Just the Cowboys go sign Earl Thomas. I'll give this one two stars coming from the Dallas Morning News who say they should go all in, make a move for Earl Thomas, go win now, which would be a win now move. And I'm open to it. I think you could use some more secondary help, especially if you want that big impact safety. I know he's got the injury history. Earl Thomas, though, is one of the premier safeties in all of the NFL. The big concern for me is not about his play or his injury history or all that. It's going to come down to the price tag. Earl Thomas is going to ask for an Eric Berry-type contract, which, by the way, also might prove why maybe you don't want to give Earl Thomas an Eric Berry-type contract because he's been hurt. Now, if I am the Cowboys, I am going to try like hell to play up the, hey, come back home to Dallas. And if Earl Thomas wants to get paid, 
I don't think he ends up with the Cowboys. But if he wants to take less money to go play for a winner instead of, say, the Raiders or the 49ers, I think he makes quite a bit of sense. And the Cowboys do need another impact safety. Now, some of you think, well, Xavier Woods, Earl Thomas, they're kind of the same player. Not quite for Xavier Woods, but they do play a similar type of role. But I think Xavier Woods will do fine as a strong safety. He likes to hit. He hits hard despite some bad penalties thrown his way on big hits. I would much rather have an Earl Thomas, Xavier Woods tandem than a Xavier Woods, Jeff Heath combo. Heath can stay, by the way, as your number three safety. So do you want the Cowboys to sign Earl Thomas? Type Y for yes and type N for no. I lean more towards yes, but as with all things, comes with an asterisk because nothing's really black and white in this world. It's all in, in the gray. It does depend on the price tag, for me at least, with Earl Thomas. Some more free agency talk. What about Demarcus Lawrence? Could there be a holdout? I'll give this one two stars. It is very much in the realm of possibility here for the Dallas Cowboys. And Lawrence made it fairly clear, both on Twitter and in interviews, he does not want to play on the franchise tag again. He wants his big, fat, multi-year contract that he didn't get last year, went out, backed it up with a 10.5 sack and a 15 uh, tackle for loss season. Now, if there's not a long-term deal, that's where things could get ugly. That's where you could see Demarcus Lawrence get tagged, not sign it, and then not report to offseason activities. Maybe even skip some of training camp because he wants that big deal. Now, Lawrence thinks that he's going to get that long-term contract. I kind of think he will as well, but just monitor this one. I don't think they're that far apart, but again, it's probably a five-year, $100 million deal, at least for Demarcus Lawrence, because that's where the way contracts are going. Everything goes up, and Lawrence the past years has proved that he is indeed worth it. So just watch out for Demarcus Lawrence and a potential issue there. I think it'll be okay, but it definitely is worth monitoring. Guys, go subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll just hit that subscribe button. We'll have an in-depth contract breakdown of Demarcus Lawrence for you guys, projected numbers and everything there given the salary cap situation. So subscribe. You'll be notified once that video is up. Plus, of course, news and rumors, NFL draft content, free agency content, and special fan-led content like our mailbag, fan rumors, and live Q&As. Back to the rumors. Are the Cowboys going to win Super Bowl 54? I'll put it at two stars. Sure, there's a chance, but they're not one of the favorites. I think that's fair right now. Now, the expectations, rightfully so, are for another Cowboys playoff run in 2019. The reasons for concern here is that the schedule gets tougher, and you won a lot of close games last year, which is what we saw in the past. You win a lot of close games historically, you regress closer to 500, so the Cowboys could be a potential regression team. Now, the new Super Bowl 54 are odds, excuse me, aren't all that favorable for the Dallas Cowboys. The Rams, the Chiefs, Patriots, Saints, no surprise there. They're kind of your clear-cut top four. Then it gets a little bit muddled. The Chargers are there, Pittsburgh, the Bears, the Colts, the Vikings, which kind of surprised me, the Eagles too. Then out to the top ten, you finally find the Dallas Cowboys tied for 12th, plus 2,150, tied with the Cleveland Browns, which in years past would have been a bad thing, but not the end of the world right now. So will the Cowboys win Super Bowl 54? You put down 10 bucks on Bet DSI, where these odds are from, you'll take home 215. That's a massive return on investment there. Go get in on the action right now with the Super Bowl 54 futures odds over on Bet DSI. Chatsports.com slash bet. Once you're there, sign up and deposit using promo code Cowboys120 for a 120% deposit bonus. So you put down 50 bucks and they're going to give you 60 for free. Put down 100 and they're going to give you 120. And if you use Bitcoin, that deposit bonus becomes 150%. Extra 30 bucks if you put down 100. It's worth it if you use Bitcoin. We know not everyone familiar with Bitcoin, so DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. We'll get you guys hooked up and walk you through the Bitcoin process. But again, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code is Cowboys120. Deep breath, because Angry Tom could come out here. Last rumor, Antonio Brown trade. No, stop it. Get some help. Fake news, this is not going to happen inside the star. It doesn't make sense. The opening of this article began with, at first glance, it doesn't make much sense. But upon further reflection, it kind of does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Why would the Cowboys bring on a $17 million contract for Antonio Brown when you're going to go pay that to Amari Cooper too? You can't invest in that type of contract there. So you trade for Antonio Brown, you're probably saying goodbye to Jalen Smith and free agency. You're probably not going to be able to afford both those guys. And oh, by the way, even from the most basic concept, the most important thing is to actually get a trade with both parties involved. 
what do the Cowboys have to offer that the Pittsburgh Steelers would accept? Oh, a second round pick? Are you going to throw in Amari Cooper? It doesn't make any sense. Now, look, if the Cowboys had not traded for Amari Cooper, I think Antonio Brown would have been a logical fit for the Dallas Cowboys. But with Amari Cooper in town, proving himself worthy of a big contract ex extension, you have a young, cheap Michael Gallup. You're probably going to draft the slot receiver if you lose Cole Beasley. It actually doesn't make sense. Frankly, although it is technically possible, it's like 0.01%. The Cowboys are not going to make a move for Antonio Brown. That is simply not going to happen. It doesn't make sense for any of the parties involved. The Cowboys, the Steelers, heck, even Antonio Brown. So, no, Antonio Brown is not coming to the Dallas Cowboys in a trade. Hey, Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.